Welcome to Papillion Unscripted. I'm Michael Severe, the place to go to hear from people who truly help make Papillion feel like home. We continue our series on the Papillion City Council with our final City Council member, the newest among the City yeah. Council, David Fanslaw, joining us from Ward 1. Thanks for taking the time. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, I, yeah. I appreciate it. Welcome. Uh, of course, congratulations on your election. Was that your first one that you that you had done? The very first, yes. Yeah. Yep. What was that like? Um, different. <laughs> so, yeah, you don't know. I didn't know what to expect, right? right? So. Yeah, it was uh, a different, um, but as I got into it, I really enjoyed it. I, mm -hmm. I hear some people don't, but you know, it was that initial step, um, knocking on that first door, yeah. talking to those first people. A little intimidating at the beginning, but it didn't take me long. I, I like to talk to people. I like to interact with people and just ask questions and, and, and give answers, right? So yeah, once I got in the flow, it was extremely easy and um, yeah, spent a lot of time doing it for sure. You can do online surveys, you can do phone surveys, but knocking on someone's door and talking to them directly, what was the overall feeling in your ward to the people you talked to about how things were going in Papillion? Very positive, yeah. M mostly very positive, mm -hmm. right? Of course, you have some people who aren't happy. <laughs> yes. And, and I took those questions and I stood there and, and answered questions and gave my opinion and listened to theirs, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, overall, very positive. I, I knocked on quite a few doors, um, almost everyone in my ward. Mm -hmm. um, took me a long time uh, to do that, right? Yeah. I, I did a lot for the primary and then I backfilled when I, um, for the ones I couldn't hit before the primary, I hit those before the general and then I went back and re-knocked on some doors to mm -hmm. show my face again. But overall, very positive. People, uh, I found out people really like living in Papillion. Was there a specific reason why you wanted to serve the people of your district and, and get on the city council? You know, um, I think I have something to offer, so I, I wouldn't have done it if I didn't think I had something to offer the city of Papillion. So I've lived here um, about 27 years, mm -hmm. right? Born and raised in Sarpy County, but lived in, in the Papillion area uh, for, for about 27 years now. Mm -hmm. um, my wife will tell you that I've, I'm a big volunteer, so oh, yeah. when, the, when the kids were little, I, I tried to coach every sport I could, so I got involved in the community early on. And as the kids grew and as my coaching abilities uh, didn't satisfy their needs anymore, right. uh, I, I, I looked for other ways to be involved. So I served some time on the Sarpy, Sarpy County Planning Commission, mm -hmm. the Board of Adjustments. Uh, we're, we're members of St. Clemkill, so I'm on their building and grounds crew. So I've always had this passion, if you will, to, to give back to the community that I live in. And this just seemed like the next natural step for me. I've thought about it for a while. Um, you know, I had to wait to be annexed because we lived in an SID for a number oh, okay. of years. And then when we got annexed, uh, it was in the back of my mind, um, but this time just seemed like the right time. So there wasn't one thing like somebody wanted to build an apartment complex near and it kind of got you involved in it. It wasn't even like that. Uh, no, it wasn't uh, driven by anything like that. Again, it was just that um, from my full-time job, right? Sure. I, I have experience in local government mm -hmm. um, and I just wanted to be involved in a, in a different way in the community that I live in. Yeah. You mentioned Omaha planning director. I am. department, And then also you were on the Sarpy County Planning Commission. Correct. What is it about county city planning that keeps you so interested? You know, I think it goes back to early days. Um, I started out as a draftsman, so I always liked to, even in high school, right, mm -hmm. I always liked to design things and, and see how things laid out. I think it really started with that. Mm -hmm. Um, and it just it just progressed, right? It, it it interested me enough, so that's what I went to school for. Right. Um, and I it just was something that um, that I was interested in, and how a city builds out, and, and all the pieces, and how it all fits together. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's just that need to and that want to be involved um, in the in the physical development of our city. <clears throat> of course, there's a lot that goes. Uh, be behind the scenes, mm -hmm. the financial stability of a city, how safe a city is, and how good services are provided. Mm -hmm. It's just always interested me. You mentioned Sarpy County native. Where did you grow up? So my parents still live um, just south of Harrison Street, okay. uh, about on 39th Street. Okay. So they still live there. Grew is that up, Bellevue? Uh, it, it is now, yeah. Okay. It was, was it South it, Omaha? It, yeah, well, it's South South Omaha. Yeah, okay. Right? So, that's, where my, that's where my wife grew up, about three blocks. She's on 43rd Street okay. is where she grew up, okay. right off of Harrison. So yeah, we we, uh, um, yeah, we, that's where we grew up. My mom wow. and dad still live there. Nice. Um, but once I got, once I moved out of the house, lived in Serpy County, out further out west, mm -hmm. um, did that for about four years and then wanted to uh, move. We, we were growing out of our house um, and Pipeline was very attractive. Sure. Um, just the community itself, the school districts. Um, so yeah, we just settled here and we'll probably never leave. Taking a step back, you went to UNO, right? I did, yes. Urban studies? Urban studies. Tell me about urban studies. Urban studies is a pretty wide range um, degree, right? Mm -hmm. You learn about 
um, communities, you learn about the people. You, a lot, we spent a lot of time actually um, studying um, other countries and mm -hmm. how they developed. Hmm. So it's a, it's a pretty wide range uh, degree. It, it fit well. I, I was um, I was the non-traditional student, so it took me a while, right? I got married and then we started having kids, so mm -hmm. I, I backed off a little bit. Um, and it, 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 there's obviously you can go to school for your planning and community development degree, but that right. would make me go to Lincoln locally, mm -hmm. so that wasn't an option for me. Urban studies fit well. Um, so yeah, it was a good experience. How much do you think your day job helps you with being a city council councilman? I think it's a, I think it helps me quite a bit. I, I know city process. Mm -hmm. um, I know city government. I know city finance. Um, I, I, those relationships that you have to build um, with your, your with your uh, fellow council people. In this case, right, um, with city employees mm -hmm. and, and, the, and the people that um, that now that I serve. So it's it it comes in very handy. You're having a chance now to learn a lot about the city quickly. Yes. Um, what kind of condition do you feel it's in, whether it be the departments or the overall streets? I mean, what do you think overall, now that you're in this position, the feel for Papillion? So yeah, so one of the good things about being new to the council and doing this interview, it's pretty mm -hmm. timely, is I've, um, I've taken some time to visit with, mo I'm going to hit all of, the, all of the department directors, mm -hmm. right? So I just left a, 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 a tour with Mike Kleffner, the public works director. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing that tour. Um, learning about each department and what I'm finding is what I what I knew and what what has attracted us and, and has kept us here is yeah. Pitbull is a very well run city from top down from top to bottom right from the administration all the way down to the people who do the day to day work. Um, roads are in good condition, parks are in great condition. Uh, we, we're, we're a growing city right. Um, mm -hmm. we're, we're, there's an influx of people all the time into our city so what I, we're safe. Which is which is big um, for a lot of people. Public safety is a, a big issue for people. So what I'm finding is what I already knew. It's a, it's a great place and it's in really good shape. One of the hardest things about being in any kind of government in Papillion is there's that dichotomy, small town feel. Right? Yes. People want that. Yep. Same time growth is coming. You can't stop it. No doubt. How do how do we balance it? How do we keep the feel <clears throat> and still grow like we're going to grow? So I was asked that question a lot and have thought about it a lot. Right. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you're right, growth is going to happen, um, and it's happening pretty quick in Serapee mm -hmm. County. We've yeah. got the new sewer agency, so it's even going to happen probably faster than what we all imagined five or ten years ago, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's that balancing act of providing um, what new residents want or people who live here and want something different, right? So it's, it's a balancing act of uh, that development and, and what we don't want to extend city services too thin, sure. stretch it too thin, um, and we want to keep track of where the development happens, what type of development. So there's been a lot of conversation about housing and the types oh, of yeah. housing in Papillion. And it's just not, it's just not um, limited to Papillion. It's a, it's a nationwide conversation that a lot of people are having. So how do you provide um, all types of housing for all your residents? Because we're not all in the same stage of life. Right. Um, it's, it's a balancing act and it's, I think it's going well here in Papillion. Yeah, it's hard. Obviously you're, the homes are expensive. Rental property is almost impossible to get into nowadays. Uh, even apartments are expensive. You have three grown children, is I that right? I do, yes. How do young people stay in Papillion? Like, how do they not decide they have to go to Omaha because they can't afford to live there? Right, so um, I have three children, two married, mm -hmm. and, and those two married children live in apartments in Papillion. Mm. And they're both in the market to find a house. Okay. So they've just started that process here, and they want to stay in Papillion because they grew up here, mm -hmm. um, went to school here, right? Locally, anyway, um, we're members of St. Columbus Church, so they they they're ingrained in the community. Sure. And as a father, and and I want I want them to stay close. Um, so they have just started that search for houses, mm -hmm. and they're finding that it's a little difficult right now. And it's maybe the environment part of it's probably the environment we're in with the cost of housing sure. and stuff like that. So yeah, you got to we got to try to, in my opinion, we got to try to keep those people in town and, and provide housing for them. Uh, Papillion's basically generally single family homes or apartments. So there's what's in between, right? And what can we, uh, maybe it's a smaller single family house or maybe it's, maybe it's townhomes or something like that. It's, it's a challenge for us. Since I've been here a little bit over a year, it comes up a lot during city council meetings. What makes Papillion special? Mm -hmm. We had the conversation about the offsets, you know, yep, a couple sure. weeks ago. Yeah. Um, for you, what, what makes it special? Uh, the people. I, I think a community, this community is built on 
it feels like home. Yeah. It, it feels like y you can, I, I've lived here most of my adult life, right? So mm -hmm. it's, e it's easy for me to say, but Papillion is a very welcoming community. Um, it's, it's a small town feel, yet um, you don't have to be in the older part of town. You can live on the outskirts of Papillion, but still within like, you know, our zon zoning jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's the people. Um, I think we have a great downtown and it's, it's continuing to get better. I mean, right. what downtown has changed over the last five to 10 years, mm -hmm. I think we need to continue to build on that. Um, I think it attracts people. So it's the people and, and the amenities, right? It's a safe community. I think we have great parks, right? We, we spent a lot of times growing up, but when our kids were growing up, using the city parks, mm -hmm. using the ball fields, it's, it's, just, it's just a really good atmosphere to raise a family and to stay. That takes me into one of our final questions. I always ask people, would you like to highlight something in Papillion maybe you think needs to be covered more, whether it's an event, mm -hmm. on a location, something you use, something that you, uh, you want to, to specifically talk about here? Uh, that's a good question. Um, you know, I, I, I think, uh, I, I mentioned downtown. Down, yeah. Downtown's fantastic. Um, it, it attracts a lot of people, right? Especially during the holidays. Mm -hmm. we, we partake in the winter wonderland, um, and it's, it's a great, it's amazing how many people come out for that. I'd, I'd like, I'd be, guess I'd be interested how many people come from elsewhere to that event because right. there's tens of thousands of people there by mm -hmm. my count anyway. So I think downtown's important. I think it's, it's a gem, right? And, and it, it, it can always get better, but we got to make sure that it stays really good. And I think it's really good right now. Sure. Uh, great park system, right? I mm -hmm. mean, um, it, whether it's Halleck or one of the dam sites, um, I, I just think it's, I think it just all really plays well together and mm -hmm. makes, again, makes just a great place to live and raise a family. Last thing, you're obviously busy with your job, yes. city council, you're, you're volunteering on everything. Do you, <laughs> you have any hobbies? I, well, I used to golf a lot more than I do. Sure. Uh, but now that I'm, you know, my kids are grown, mm -hmm. um, I, I like to play golf. Play golf. I, I do a little Tara pickle. or Eagles? Or which one do you like? Well, Tara? we live right by Eagle, so it's okay, more convenient. So we, <laughs> we, uh, we go to Eagle quite a bit and just hit on the chip, uh, the, the putting greens, or we'll go play the executive holes uh, yeah. just for a quick round. Uh, so we, I usually play Eagle more than I play Terra, but they're both great, right? Yeah. Um, and yeah, so uh, since I'm, I have a little more time on my hand, we started playing pickleball a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah, I got a whole bunch of buddies who play on Friday mornings. I, I'm not able to do that as often, but right. yeah, so pickleball's fun. That's enjoy, awesome. Enjoy, and the landing, right? So you yeah. talked about places uh, in, in town that um, maybe should get more coverage. Or, I think the landing does get a lot of coverage. What a great facility that is. It's a is. special spot. It, it sure is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thousands of people yeah. taking advantage of it every day. So obviously, the people who fought against it, shame on you. That's what <laughs> I say. Dave, we appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank you Welcome very much. Welcome to the council. Thanks for taking the you time. Bet. Thanks. Appreciate it. Join us again next time when we again speak with someone who truly helps make Papillion feel like home.